DJ Academics is under fire for possibly being a predator. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. DJ Academics is currently trending because of statements he made that sound extremely predatory. His descriptions of being willing to engage in sexual activity with the 17 year old being that he is over 30 have a lot of people talking about how he needs to be canceled how he's a weirdo he's a sick dude and i listen to the to the recording and i'm like like yeah, what the what kind of time are you on to talk about what he said in the clip in the clip that is circulating on social media he says that there's not much difference between a 20 year old messing with a 17 year old or a 21 year old messing with a 17 year old. I've seen people writing it in a way that sounds like, or seems like he was saying, there's not much difference between messing with a 21 year old or a 17 year old. But I have to say by what I heard, it seems that he's saying there's not much difference between a 20 year old and a 17 year old messing together and a 21 year old and a 17 year old. Of course, people are saying that he is well over 21, he's over 30. So they're saying him making those statements with regards to 17 year olds show he's just absolutely like he's another R. Kelly. I listened to the recording, the clip of the recording that was played online, saw some tweets, uh, a tweet that he had allegedly made in the past talking about bad baby when she was 15, commenting basically on her body. I look at that, listen to the, to the statement. It's not looking good for academics, but academics went on YouTube last night and he explain the situation. What he explained was it's a long video and he's talking about past beefs and everything. But what he did finally get to the explanation, he talks about the video, the clip that the rec audio recording is from is old. It's from like 2014. And in the clip, he's talking about Tyga, who at the time was 24 and his alleged relationship with Kylie Jenner, who at the time was 17. During his discussion of that and his belief that yes, Tiger is messing with Kylie Jenner, despite his claims that he's not. Academics then starts talking about how in college there was a similar dynamic going on of when, when he got to, you know, whether a, a 20 year old college student should be messing with a 17 year old incoming freshman or a 21 year old college student should be messing with the incoming 17 year old freshman. In this clip, basically he's saying that it was his opinion that that was okay that a 20 year old, 20 year old messing with a 17 year old or a 21 year old messing with a 17 year old isn't the problem. I want to point out a couple of things. One, in certain states, 17 is the age of consent. So in New York state, a 21 year old can legally have a sexual relationship with a 17 year old. That's the law in New York state. There are some states where no, it's gotta be 18. California, however, has an age of consent at 18 which means that if Tiger was engaged in that relationship, as people have alleged, he would have still been guilty of crimes. Back to academic statement about 20 year old messing with a 17 year old. You see, even in these laws, there tends to be some allowance allowed for people of a similar age. So even if you're dealing with a person that is under a certain age, if the other party is within a certain age gap, it is by law not considered a criminal action in many states. According to academics description and his defense, he's saying that, hey, he was just talking about in college, it's a different culture. And his statement was that if the person is in college, old enough to be in college, he didn't care. He felt that in that setting, that was allowable. So whether he was a 20 year old college student or a 21 year old college student messing with a uh, 17 year old college student he felt was not a problem. After hearing his explanation, I see that the way he's being characterized is not necessarily accurate. And, and although I may have certain thoughts about a 21 year old messing with a 17 year old, that is a far cry from a 34 year old messing and preying on 17 year olds. My thoughts, my, my thoughts are this. There needs to be some type of discipline, some type of standard set for adults. Like if you're a grown man, why? Like, why is there even an issue of needing to be uh, of needing to wait or, or be told that you shouldn't be praying on a 17 year old or 
or younger or even an eight year. Like if, if I'm a grown ass man, why am I considering young, younger, young girls, young girls that are significantly less mature, less developed. And, and I'm like, I'm talking about mentally, emotionally, like, why is that even an option? Why, why am I focused on that? Why am I considering that? Why am I like, cause, cause some of this discussion sounds like people that are, that have this predatory nature and that are just, just c completely lacking of control. That's what it sounds like. There's, there seems to be a complete utter lack of dick discipline. There are plenty of women out there. There are plenty of women all over the place. Like, why do I need to be searching for a 17 year old or an 18 year old? Why? I am a grown ass man. Why am I searching for women, for young, for girls that are younger than my daughter would be? Th th this is, this is something I think that we as men need to come to grips with. Like we need to have enough discipline to say, okay, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's not, that's not really an option. No. Because there's, there's this level, uh, and I'm thinking about this because I've got this R. Kelly video that I, I still have been, I've been sitting on for, for days because it's, because R. R. Kelly was really an absolute utter scumbag. Correction. R. Kelly is an absolute and utter scumbag. But looking at this, it's like, even as a 21 year old, my advice to a 21, 21 year old is get some self-control, get some discipline. And don't just be so thirsty, so, so completely devoid of discipline that you're like, oh, I'll take it anywhere I can get it. Because oh, oh. a 17 year old coming in college is a freshman and she's going to be like, OK, that's a senior guy. If I can get, you know, hook up with a senior guy, have a boyfriend that's a senior guy, she's looking up to you like it's there's a there's a huge difference in perspective. And you've got to have enough discipline to be like, you know what? Yeah, nah, this, this doesn't sit right with me. You've got to have enough. Like, this is my, this would be my advice to a 21 year old. Beyond that, there's no doubt that there's several things from this story that are jumping out at me. The fact that nobody, <laughs> the fact that this is about his discussion of Tiger, a 24 year old, allegedly engaged in a sexual relationship with Kylie Jenner, a 17 year old, is already a problem. Like, that should be, despite the fact that Tiger denied it, like this is one of those things that our reaction should be a little bit stronger. Like the reaction from the community should be a little like, like, dude, why are you, why are you running around with the, with the little girl? Why are you running around just hanging out with it? Like what kind of time, like at the very least, you got to realize how that looks. And if you're not willing to curb your own behavior to, to make sure that you're not even, because let's say somebody decides to, let's say somebody for whatever reason, decides to say something that's not true about you. And for whatever reason, that 17 year old is not in a position to deny what the, the, the claims that have been levied against you for whatever reason, then what are you going to do? What, 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 Tiger, what would Tiger have done if for some reason, allegations, serious direct allegations had came out against him about his conduct with Ty Kylie Jenner. And for whatever reason, Kylie Jenner is not available or not or not making any statements to, to dispute these allegations, then what? Then what? Because, at, because even if he wasn't doing anything, that means him hanging out with this 17 year old, him hanging out with this little girl, put him in the position to get buried under the jail because he's doing stupid shit. That's the point. So understanding what this world we live in is and understanding like as a grown ass man, you know, maybe, Maybe hanging out with young girls isn't a good idea. Whether you're having a sexual relationship with them or not, maybe just hanging out with them isn't a good idea anyway. But back to academics. It seems that what was, after hearing his, his defense, I had to say, okay, maybe where people were being overly critical and maybe some of the people that are criticizing him have a, other reasons for disliking him. And it's not entirely accurate based on, because the characterization of him as a 30 plus 30 over 30 year old talking about having sex with 17 year olds would definitely be something that like this dude is, this dude is, is trying to be the next R. Kelly. But then I actually decided to do something. So I heard the side, I saw why he was trending. I saw what people were saying about him. 
Then I saw his defense. And I said, wait, let me just check out the entire video. Let me go online to find that video that where he made the statements so I can listen to everything in context. You see, when academics played the clip, because when the clip was originally played, they played a short clip where it talks about the 21, what's the difference between a 20 year old and a 17 year old or a 21 year old and a 17 year old. And it sounds really bad. He plays a little bit more to say that, oh, he's talking about the Kylie and, and, and Tiger thing and if in college setting. But in addition to playing a, a little bit more of the clip, you know, there's a lot of commentary he's adding to the clip. I listened to the entire clip, about three minutes, 17 seconds, under four minutes long. The views he expressed in that clip. And, and once again, I'll tell you, in New York State, by New York State law, the age of consent is 17. So by New York State law, if a 21 year old was messing with a 17 year old, it would not be against the law. By New York State law, if a 24 year old was messing with a 17 year old, it would not be against New York State law. By New York State law, if a 34 year old, whatever age academic is, was messing with the 17 year old, it would not be against New York State law. But I am reminded of a scripture. I think it's first Corinthians. All things lawful are not advantageous. And just because something is allowed by law doesn't mean we should do it. Just because something is allowed by law doesn't mean I support it. Just because something is allowed by law doesn't mean doesn't even mean it's right. Doesn't even mean doesn't mean I agree with it just because something is allowed by law. So regardless of the age of consent in New York State being 17, listening to what academics said in the rest of this video, because in addition to saying that 21 year old and 17 year old, that's, you know, in the college setting, that's one thing. He then goes, he goes further. His further description of Tiger and Kylie is that, oh, it's a gray area. It's a gray area. That's his description of the entire Kylie and, and Tiger correction. That's not his entire description. His entire description goes on to talk about how the Kardashian girls are ready. Like they, they're ready for it from like ages younger than, than 17. And so that's why he doesn't see a problem with it. Regardless of whether or not he agrees with those opinions today, his description yesterday, he clearly realized how horrible the rest of the video sounds. He clearly realized how horrible and atrocious the rest of the video sounds because he does not play the entire clip. He plays a portion of it and then stops it and then adds his, his current contemporaneous commentary. But the rest of the stuff he says in that video are disgusting. They're just absolutely fucking disgusting. And it's why I want to, it's why I, I'm addressing this in the context of a much bigger issue. Because us grown men in our community need to be acting accordingly. Lusting over teenagers is not it. Like have some fucking discipline, have some fucking self-control and be able to say, okay, you know what? That's a young girl. I, I'm good. I'm a grown man. I can, I can find women. There are plenty of women all of, that, that, that are of, of appropriate age for me to deal with. But there seems to be this level of thirst, this level of lusting, this level of just complete lack of self-control that is leading to this idea, this permissibility that all things lawful are advantageous. They're not. As always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you disagree with me, if you think, oh no, but if she's of a certain age, then it should be all good. If she's, if she's over 18, if she's over, if you believe that, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Tell me why in the comment section you think that maturity, that mental development has nothing to do with whether or not you should be engaged in a sexual relationship with a, a chick. I'll see you next time.